I know everyone thinks their family is dysfunctional, but for Alice and Jimmy, it has been a really rough year. You go to school, you go to soccer practice, and then you come home. Nothing else. Well, I'm going to Japanese breakfast next week. Well, it looks like you're going to have to eat it at home. It's a band, asshole. Well, with an ironic name like that, they must be fantastic. I'm Lukita Maxwell, and I play Alice on Shrinking. Here's an actually helpful recap of season one. Alice spent a lot of time with her neighbors, Liz and Derek. How's Alice doing? You OK, Alice? I have to ask, is this you forever? I don't know. Meanwhile, Jimmy decided to go all no filter at work. He's a fugly man inside and out. Your husband is emotionally abusive. Just leave him. You trust me, Sean? No. Let's go find you someone to beat up. Jimmy Yang kind of worked at first. I just want to push his precious coffee right off the table. Boop. That's called a pattern interrupt. We know the answer. Don't you ever want to just, just make them do it? And we become what? Psychological vigilantes? <laughs> oh my god. I'm like sensing the sarcasm, but that sounds kind of badass. Paul, Jimmy's mentor, slash boss, slash sort of friend, told him how seriously messed up it all was. Are you even trying to be careful? Or are you just going to burn your career and take me down with you? Coin flip. Jimmy was almost doing OK. But then he screwed it up again. I'm sorry that I had sex with Auntie Gabby. Oh my god. Are you trying to make it weirder I'm not for her? trying, it's just happening. I'm gonna go puke. Yeah, fair. <sighs> Eventually, Jimmy actually got it together, and Alice finally got her dad back. You look so much like your mom. It's nice to see you have your spark back. But just when things seem to be going OK, So that's it. You're all caught up and ready for season two. Why do I have to pay you in candy? Because you're poor and I like candy. <laughs>